Hi, welcome again to another video tutorial with me, Chris Tormes. Today I'm going to show you how to put music inside your Prozure Producer and edit it inside the application. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Prozure Producer and uh, I am using the 4.5 version and it's the new release from the photodex.com and you can download it at their website. So I am now in the interface of the Prozure Producer for and uh, it's automatically opened the new slideshow dialog box and it tells me what the name of my show. So I'm gonna go ahead and name it Zipline for now. And uh, it tells me what is the aspect ratio that I wanna use. Uh, it could either be a TV or a widescreen. But in my case, I recommend you to use the widescreen if you wanted to upload it on the YouTube because YouTube nowadays uses the widescreen video. I mean aspect ratio. So. It should work there and it's you can be able to view it at the widescreen uh, view so I'm gonna go ahead and click create so everything is blank as of now so the first thing is before putting your music inside your slideshow we have to put first the video or picture and animate this first before putting the soundtrack over here so how do you do that First thing is right click on the blank first and insert the blank slide or you can do the alt i and that's it. Double click on the first slide which you've created the blank and this area here click on the plus button and add image or video. So in my case I'm going to use this one this pre-compose. This video had been created using the Adobe After Effects CS4. So, yeah, after it loads up, we can be able to see what's the look. That's good. That's enough. So, I can see that there is something a little bit uh, faster. So, I'm going to modify the timeline. So, I'm going to go ahead and click this one. And uh, as you can see here, the slide time is just only one second. So, I'm going to modify this to I'm gonna turn this into three seconds and the transition out I'm gonna I'm not particularly love the transition but uh, I'm gonna use the one second so it turns into four seconds at all I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and let's play okay that's it so let's uh, add some little bit of a style let's go to slide tab and Let's go to the slide style and let us see some effects over here. How about this one? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click apply, click OK. So again, this uh, effect needs to enter some caption over here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it into caption and uh, rename this enter your caption here. Let's rename that. I'm going to go ahead and click this enter your caption here and I'm going to go ahead and click zip line. Huyuhui. Huyuhui is a very good place there. You can check out it on my Facebook page. So I'm going to go ahead and click play. very good actually so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK now let's create another blank over here and uh, double click on the slide go to layer tab go add click the plus button add image or video again let's try to put some another video how about the this one over here Yeah. So we are now the layer tab and the we are now inside at the layer tab we are in the video setting. So I'm gonna disable the volume of this video because if you're gonna go ahead and play on that. Oh that's very noisy. So it's very noisy, so I'm, I'm going to get rid of that uh, stupid music or stupid sound. So let's try to make the volume down to zero so that we can be able to 
Yeah, but because we are using the music instead of the actual sounds of the video. So we can be able also to speed up the video, something like that. Or maybe let's try to put this on 100%. That should work fine. So I'm going to go to, uh, let's, before that, let's try to put some little bit of uh, effects. Yeah, let's go apply, click OK. So let's preview. Oops. Let's try to go to the layer video. Let's try to disable the music, the sound. <clears throat> okay, that's it. So, I'm going to click OK. Now, this time, after you put all the videos, music inside of the slide, we cannot be able to put the music. Now, how do you do putting the music? All you have to do is to navigate or locate the file by navigating your folder list over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and click my desktop. And as you can see, when I click the desktop, you can be able to view what's the inside, what's the the file inside the desktop. So I can be able to view this by thumbnail. And I'm gonna use the Rihanna only girl, this one over here. Now, how do you do that by importing? I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and drag it and drop it to the soundtrack and release my mouse and let's wait to load up. <laughs> okay, right after that, you can now be able to see the wave of the sound. Now, let's try to play. Let's click on the first slide and click the play button. Pretty much cool huh so um now let's try to edit the audio so how do you do editing the audio now there's two two process two process two types of process you can be able to edit the audio either to right click on the audio and click on the edit edit fade and timing so for me I'm not particularly using it because uh, I cannot be able to view here where the music uh, uh, starts so for me I'm not particularly love uh, using this but instead there the, the second one is very quite uh, useful by hitting the tab and now we are now focusing on the music now hold down your control key and now we can be able to view or move the music where we want it to start so for in my case, I'm going to put it here and uh, I'm going to start the music right after the first slide. So let's check it out. Let's click the play button. So that's it. So let's add some fading effect on the audio, on our soundtrack. So again, let's hold on the control key. And uh, as you can see here, if you try to click on this one over here, you can be able to make a fade in effect. Just like that. How incredible, how very effective it is. So let's try to, put, to play the music again. very much helpful now lastly how you would be able to cut the music you can be able to cut the music by simply clicking on this one over here and make something like that so like that and then drag it all that way and click play let's play
very fantastic and if you are done with the music now go ahead and click the tab so that we can now be able to focus on the slide and uh, that's it that's all there is to it so thank you for watching and see you again to my another tutorial thank you